In this amazing video, you'll learn how to enable user registration in WordPress. User registration encourages visitors to interact more with your site. Registered users can leave comments, participate in discussions, and engage with your content, fostering a sense of community. User registration allows you to create a community around your website. This can be particularly valuable for forums, social networking sites, or any platform where user interaction is essential. Enabling registration simplifies the management of users. You can categorize users into different roles – subscriber, contributor, author, etc. Allowing you to control their access and capabilities on the site. You can grant registered users special access to certain areas of your site, exclusive content, or specific features. This can incentivize users to register and return to your site regularly. Now, before starting, make sure you like the video and hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive more updates. As you can see, this is my WordPress website where I want to add the functionality. Now, the first step is to access your WordPress admin dashboard. We need to enable the user registration setting first. To do so, hover over Settings and click on General. You can see the membership here. You need to enable Anyone Can Register first. This is going to allow visitors to register. Also, you can choose the new user default role from here. So WordPress provides several user roles, like author or contributor. There are several standard user roles in WordPress, each with its own set of capabilities. Administrators have full control over the WordPress website. Editors have control over content management. Authors can create, edit, and publish their own posts. Contributors can write and edit their own posts, but they can't publish them. Instead, their posts must be reviewed and published by an editor or administrator. Contributors have limited access to the site's content. Subscribers have the most limited role. They can log in, edit their user profile, and leave comments, but they can't create or edit any content. Subscribers are often used for readers who want to subscribe to a site to receive updates. You can select the user role as per your requirements. Once you're done, simply save the settings. Now, users can register to the site. Let's move to the front end and check the changes. Let's refresh the site and check. Still, you can't see the changes as it's not publicly available or it doesn't automatically appear on the site. You still need to advertise it and add a certain location to your site so that actually you can let people know that they can register. So now, a simple way to see it in action is to copy the site URL from here. And now let's open it in incognito mode. Paste the site URL here and add login. Now, this login page serves as the entry point not only for existing users, but also as a gateway for new users to register. This WordPress login page is designed to be super friendly, allowing newcomers to register easily. To kickstart the registration process, users can simply click on the registration link. Upon clicking the registration link, users will be redirected to a dedicated page where they can complete the registration process. The beauty of this approach is its simplicity. Once you've accessed the WordPress login page, you can copy the URL from your browser's address bar. This URL can then be placed anywhere on your website, making it readily accessible to your site's visitors so you can simply copy the URL from here. Now let's learn how and where to add this URL. To do so, let's move back. And I'm going to show you how to add it in the header as well as the footer of the website. Now I'll simply click on Customize here. Your theme might offer you different options. Now I'll add a link to the menu. 
To do so, go to Menus. I'll go to my main menu. I haven't added any menu items here for now. So let me remove these menu items. I'll add a new menu item here. And I'll create custom links. Simply add the URL over here. Give your menu item a name over here as link text. And once done, simply click on Add to the menu. You can see the Register Now link in the header over here. Once everything's in place, click on the Publish button. Now, let's visit the site and check the changes. On clicking the Register Now button over here, the user will be redirected to the Register page. They can now register themselves here and they'll become the contributor. Now let's talk about adding the link in the footer. To do that, we need to change the theme first, as my current theme does not display a footer here. So let's change the theme from here. I'm going to select the Astra theme. Here you can simply activate the theme. To see a live preview, click on it. You can see this is how the site appears when using the Astra theme. Let's edit the footer with this theme. You can simply edit everything here as per your requirements. To add widgets, click on it. From here, select the block, and then let's select a paragraph block. And now you can type the text over here. For example, register now. And select it, and you can find the link icon over here. Click on it, and you can enter the register page link over here that we created. Now this is how easy it is. You can even add a button as well. Let's edit another widget. Click on the Add block, and search for the button. Add Button block. And now you can rename this button as per your requirement. Select the button text and click on the link icon. Simply paste the register page link over here. Now let's shift back to the previous theme that we were using. So what if you need to add the link to the sidebar? Well, in that case, simply go to Widgets, select the sidebar here, click on the plus icon here, and select the desired block. For example, a button. Add your button text over here. And then select the text and click on the link icon over here. Simply paste the register link, and you can customize the button as per your requirements. Once everything's in place, you can see the button in the right sidebar here. Don't forget to click on the Publish button. Now, what if you need to add the link to internal pages? To do that, let's move back to the WordPress admin dashboard, hover over Pages, and click on Add New. Give your page a title over here. And 
Enter the relative text here. Then simply add a button over here. Give your button a name. And now let's add the button link. Once everything's in place, simply publish the page. And now it's time to view the page live from the front end. You can see the page over here. Clicking on the Register Now button will take the user to the registration page. Now, once the user registers, they'll see this success message. Let's see where to check the registered users. Simply move back to the WordPress admin dashboard, hover over Users, and click on All Users. You'll be able to see all the users over here. As you can see, the test user here. Similarly, every time the user will be added, details will be displayed on this page here. You'll be able to see relative settings here, name, email, and the role assigned. You can even change the user role as per your requirements. And this is how easy it is to enable user registration in WordPress. Enabling user registration in WordPress can enhance user engagement, build a community, and provide you with valuable user data. It's a versatile tool that can be customized to serve a wide range of website types and purposes. However, it's essential to manage user data responsibly and ensure that user registration aligns with your website's goals and privacy policies. Before leaving, we also have videos on the best Divi tips and tricks. You can also watch the same and get started with the Divi theme. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one. That